Okay. Yes, Christine. Uh, yeah. Also, what what um, comes up for me about this um, archaeological music thing that it's there's also the possibility to like to create experiments around it, not only for you know having uh, this as a game world, but also to introduce it into the space holding of other stuff, especially like Gremlin Club or Rage Club. Like I, I like to do that anyway. Like I have this thing now with Naomi that because we uh, were so much exploring with the body over the years and dancing and you know all this body work. And uh, for me, I feel like it's also my comfort zone to go from the body into the feelings and stuff. But also it can include like it can also create like this archaeological dance or stuff like that that's what we explore right now and I also wanted to share that uh, I have also this on one part I have fear of of showing like my voice or playing something and then this might not be judged thing from school but I also have this part which is also my mostly my gremlin it, it would be so I would be so fat if I just have a space sometimes where I just can sing and just me and I can hear me full blown out and people just witnessing it like this urge of or this void of like taking space with the voice because as a dancer it's it's like it's like this thing of that's always cut here. And so you're so used to use your body to, to take space. But when it comes to the voice, it's like, I feel it in my body. It's like something is missing. Yes. So I also want to, yeah, put that in the space that it's also that side and how, how we can create space for that. Mm, I'm curious, like, uh, I would like to ask you about- and you're and in seeing you can also have this witnessing spaces mm -hmm. how you can witness someone going through his process while singing and stuff yeah mm -hmm. that's what came up for me uh, i'm i'm curious what what is that how are you thinking of integrating music or archaeological music into these other spaces like you mentioned the uh, rage club or the gremlin transformation program Mm -hmm. and how, how do you see that what's happening there well for, for example in rage club i i hear so many people always like you know ah oh, my voice and i scratch my voice because you go into anger and and also for me i i still have child contamination and my voice is going higher because of fear Mm -hmm. And then also when I go into anger, sometimes it happens that it, that I scratch my voice. So you could like maybe there are some anger singing tools where you can I don't know prepare not like not prepare the voice like oh I'm doing a singing exercise, but something that's already connected to anger work, and then you are. Um, yeah, already more in tune with your center and your throat, something like that. Or I, I see this will be like a like a like I'm seeing I, I'm seeing a few things with what you're sharing, like the possibility of like a warm up exercise <laughs> that is kind of like with music and tuning in together. Um, and I also see like like. Uh, like a musical rage club, like a musical rage club will be like, like using your voice and uh, and your body and movements and your anger, conscious anger, to express music, to express some sort of music. Um, and the other thing that was coming up is, it, like uh, like I heard before that if you if you use the if you use your voice in, in the in the right way or something like this, that it doesn't hurt your vocal cords. Mm. And and I don't know if that's uh, what, what you're referring to 
uh, about this, but yeah, like, I, I don't know so much about this. I don't have any technical knowledge about this. Uh, but that, that's what I heard, like, the, if, so maybe like, even like reading the distinctions of like, when, are, when, when is that anger being like, when is that anger hurting us, like hurting our, our throat? And when, it, how can we like make it so that it, it can be clear, like pure, like anger that, that can like not hurt the, the throat. Um, I found it because uh, I'm doing the three, three, three. Like it could be yeah. Uh, I would like to exchange the word right here for responsible. So mm -hmm. to have a responsible way of using your voice um, so it doesn't hurt you and not the right way, because that would be a modern culture, like right and wrong way. Uh, instead, use um, a responsible way to take care of yourself while doing it. Yeah. Yeah, thank Got you. It. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I, I also like, it doesn't have to be like, you know, technical, I don't know, exercises. I thought more about the distinctions, for example, to, to just use some distinctions out of it what it means if you press your voice, maybe it, it can give distinctions about if I go with my anger too fast to a high percentage and then I press my voice. But this is more like this technical thing. What, what I meant more was, for example, you can start creating an anger song in Rage Club mm -hmm. as an experiment or the same in Fear Club. And, and this could be, and, and then to, to take away the layers of at least my box had it in the beginning that anger is always deep sounds. Like when I, I, I also had a time when I did Rage Club and then I found myself singing after it sometimes and it was always very high, but I felt so in anger. So stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you that I could say that. Uh, I wanted to share that I think that uh, think and feel that music can work with all the emotions not and feelings, not just anger and sadness, mm -hmm. and that there are specific, um, specific sensations or specific uh, like treasures that can be found in connecting certain emotions or feelings with music and when you said that about the anger song I thought about you know warriors and warriors as like mm -hmm. uh, making sounds and that there's a lot of rhythm um, in integrated in that and then uh, when I think about fear in music I think about creating music the gap between something not being there and then it happening and working with your fear there just pure creation and when I think about joy in music I think about togetherness and celebration and dancing and ecstasy and when I think about sadness, I think about softness and connecting and um, letting yourself be touched. And when you said that thing about um, you wishing uh, or that, if I understand, I heard it correctly or I understood it correctly, Christina, you said that sometimes uh, you would just like people to witness um, mm. you uh, when you go out and you sing or you use your voice. And I think this is also part of our key, our key music or our next culture music, uh, not only making music, but also being a listener and, and being able to listen uh, without numbness bars, with openness. So that's something I really want to create also, like the, the possibility of 
really listening and witnessing so that the space can be there for people to that this safe space is there because it's not only the person that is on the stage or is expressing or making music or speaking or using their voice it is also the people making the space for that and being space holders and listeners and i think that music is a lot also about listening and not only with your ears but yeah. with all yeah. your bodies so like resonance and going into that being able to let yourself yeah re- be in this and I think it can be so 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 there is so much gold in music for feelings work I see because people do this already I've my whole life I've been doing feelings work with music like yeah. I use it for every emotion, every feeling I have, I use music and other people too. And when I have something, I turn to music. So I think there's such a strong connection in us humans <laughs> to and our feelings and us being a feeling creature to music. And this is something I want to explore and uh yeah, feelings work and music. And I think we were also getting there with the anger, mentioning anger already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. There's also the the possibility to work, like Tara said with, um, when she said she turns to to music with every feeling, to work this, with the distinctions of how music um, creates inauthentic feelings and authentic feelings, like with this chapter from, I think there's a whole chapter in the book about it. And there's also the on the process website, um, there is a process uh, that is called, I think something like sing your song or something like that. Mm-hmm. So maybe this is also something to to look into. I don't know how how that works. I didn't read it. If it's a group process or, but this is something that I imagined when I said witnessing in a way that it's not this type of, you know, someone sits there and you're on a stage and and then he claps and entertainment and well, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds. Shall I look this up, or shall I look this up? This website. Yes, please. If you can look it up and uh, and make a link for it, that would be great. Okay. And what it, what I'm hearing from this is that PM possibility management is creating the the like is giving is giving to me the context of the differences between the different emotions that are in music, where before it was all like mix of emotions for example there would be like like anger revenge and like like all of these different especially in the the, the latin american music for example there is like so much there like with the salsa and the mm-hmm. merengue and reggaeton like and it's like a whole mix of emotions that like really like like put us into uh, into a like, I think, did I hear you say inauthentic feelings or inauthentic emotions? Mm-hmm. Yeah, authentic. I'm interested in, in like like reading more about that because that, that feels like in touching in, in what we've been talking about. And um, you, I'm seeing like the, the possibility for, yeah, like, like us becoming like really quickly, like the two possibilities that, that I'm seeing is become space holders for specifically archaeological music and the other possibility is using archaeological music or music uh, for like augmenting and creating different experiments for these other the the other spaces that are already being created like the uh, rage club uh, fear club uh, and even possibility team meetings um it, it, and it feels like the, the awesome thing about music is that it adds it adds rhythm and it, it is more than words like it's not just talking about it and talking about it but 
we're actually going into like the non-verbal reality. Like we're going in a, in a dance between the verbal reality and the non-verbal reality. And like waving, waving in that with the, with the emotions and the feelings that are coming up. Yeah, it's like bringing much more experiential reality. Experiential space, reality. Maybe than, than verbal one. Mm -hmm. I also see the opportunity in like working together also with the stuff that Naomi and I are doing with the movement. Yeah. Uh, sound and breath and and I also notice it maybe I don't know if it's a generation thing but there are like some people or clients they are much more in experiential reality with a box and then it's on one hand it's good to use that to enter feelings but then also go into verbal reality but I think it's like like the necessity for this kind of stuff is much more there. So I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm really grateful that you bring that in the space. Can you give me, can you say a little bit more about that? Like uh, about the generation, like the- No, it's not, I don't want to make story about the generation, but it's like, um, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, for some, for some it's like the, the barrier to just make a sound, like naming the feeling or something is already too fast. And that's why it's so connected to phase one, like saying that it's sadness, anger or fear, it's sometimes already too, too much. And then it helps to, to start with sounds or uh, breathing and and more to the body and music and singing helps with that too and then eventually comes the distinction oh this is sadness I see. And, yeah so uh, for me that sounds like um, a, a gateway using music as um, a gateway before words or be or or like a yeah uh, or um, a cata catalysator. I yeah. don't know what's the word in catalyst, a catalyst <laughs> in English. I think yeah yeah like I think that yeah go ahead. I think that's one of the one of the um. I don't know what to say this uh, Eigenschaften uh, um, or one of music's biggest um, possibilities or or uh, or I also don't know the word right now <laughs> it can be a like a catalyst it can be a catalyst yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it can be used and then to to open something up to bring something up into a different reality and maybe that that's maybe what you also been talking about with the weaving like the connecting so catalyst connection yeah yes yes and i i want to bring this into the world uh, <laughs> that that this is yeah uh, I have a proposal. Um, would you yes. like? My proposal is that we do a little experiment of uh, taking turns. Uh, each one of us taking three minutes, and one person is gonna be um, using sounds and uh, to uh, to express the, either the emotions, feelings, or music, um, and the other two are gonna be. A listening like pure listening like and i i wonder if you like uh, and then we're gonna rotate uh, after that we can have like a, a a minute or two to to share how how that felt for the person that was uh, using their their voice and and then we can 
uh, and then we can rotate it into the next person. And we'll do this for each one of us. How does that land for you? I have a question. Yes. Can I use an instrument or is it just supposed to be my voice? I, I think I'll leave it up to you. I, I leave it up to you, whatever it feels more supportive for you uh, to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I, I understand it that each of us has three minutes to express themselves now in any sound way. And after that, there's a one or two minute break for the person to talk about how it felt. And then we go to the next person. Yes, and, and we'll, see about, we'll see about the timing a little bit after, after the three minutes. To, to see how, how, how it was or uh, and to hear to hear the to hear how it was for for you to share that how, how does that land for you Christina fear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel fear that's how it ends <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to try it, but not now. Are you taking care of the time, Jorge? I can take care of the time. I can take care of the time, yes. Okay. Uh, for a moment. Are you going to start, Tara, or? Okay, I'm, it's good I got for the me timer. That you want to start it. I, I don't want to start. I said I try. Ah, okay. I, th I thought this was the. I thought it was the. Um, I oh, thought no. you already are going. Okay. Um, so uh, who's going to go first? Tara, you going to go first? I'm going. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to start the timer. No, wait, I will let yeah. you. Okay. Uh, I will let you know. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay. I think the, the distinction will be like, this is uh, with the purpose of using our voice uh, as much as we can. And mm -hmm. to rely on, on the instruments uh, as little as possible. I think that'll be a clear, like a, a good distinction or um, like a, 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 a responsible distinction. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I don't know if I've got the three minutes, <laughs> but yeah. I can't hear you, Jorge. Yeah, sorry. That was the two minutes and a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's the, yeah. Yeah. How, how, how was that for you? I, um, right now I feel a lot of sadness <laughs> and this was also expressing my sadness that has been here <laughs> over the day because of what is going on in the world right now mm. <laughs> and war breaking off and and I saw pictures and it made me so sad and it felt good to express this and um yes and i felt I don't know, I don't have the distinction about if I close my eyes because I, I don't want to see that I'm being witnessed or because I don't want to see that I'm on stage, so to say, or if I close my eyes to feel inside. I think it's a bit of both. I realized that while, while or it's something that came up in me while doing this. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to share there's something else coming that it is also. Uh, through the music, I feel like I can be much closer to this than I can when I see the news or when I process something in my head about, about things. Um, I felt more in touch with this and with myself now than the whole day of just reading and reading and being in my head yeah thank you mm. thank you that, that feels like a powerful distinction it feels like a yeah something something is landing in my body about what you're saying that you can be more in touch with what's happening in the world through your music and your sounds that than when you're reading and and uh, like worrying about it from from that point Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So for listening. Mm. Yeah, Thank and you. also, yeah, and also these distinctions. We had the same yesterday in the work talk about you move the feeling and not the feeling moves you in a way. So yeah. that's, that's yeah. what I got from you expressing. Tara, there was mm -hmm. one 
there was one woman I felt so much. And then I, I have this a lot, which is, which is also very powerful for me. I don't know if it's a distinction, but this, I have this very also, often also with friends of mine when they start singing, I just want to go and sing in harmony, like, you know, going with you in the sadness. <laughs> this moment when I, there was such a strong I don't I'm I don't know about notes but this note yeah it gives me goosebumps when you say this. yeah and just going under this is actually for me also what maybe next culture music this how this singing in harmonies and just yeah I have I have this also with a friend of mine like she sometimes just stands in the kitchen and then she she just sings and sings her feeling and then I just jump in and we don't say anything else we just have five minutes and then I go off to the other room and she goes room and so yeah yes yeah that's what I got from from this thank you for sharing Christina Christina, I I remember you saying at the beginning that you, you can only stay until, is it like getting too close to your time when you have to go? Yeah, uh, but it's it's fine. It's just that I wanted to eat something because I didn't eat uh, all day, but I okay. can stay a bit longer for the experiment. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I wonder if you would like to go next. I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I go to this high position again, so I sit more stable. Hmm. <laughs> there was like da 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot about and that. I also, can I also just, I will also just express different parts right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. I'll just start it. Just... Alrighty, it's going. <laughs>
Dann. <lacht> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> How did that feel for you? <sighs> well, it's such like this child and gremlin blah, like doing this blah. and Yeah, it, I closed my eyes because of shame, because of shame, and and also to to tune into what's going on in my body, and and it was very relieving to go even louder and louder and louder. It's like I really wanted to, like I really felt this part. I want to like ah, like mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. <laughs> This kind of stuff, and um, but there's also a subtle anger in there, like, and I, I, I heard my head say once, "I just want like here, you have my heart, like let's go, like come on." <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Doesn't feel. Yeah, joy, and I feel joy now. And now I would like to have a microphone, like even even louder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All oh, right, on. And I Thank could you. like, like a, yeah, like this thing of. You know, giving the heart space could also be like an experiment of how to do that with voice or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's something I take from it as well. This, when you say that this, you felt this part and that uh, it was going open and you wanted to be louder and yeah. bigger. <laughs> and this is, I think this is such a, a wonderful experience to and to feel this, to want to take more space and be bigger mm -hmm. and feel it here and feel open in all these parts of your body. Um, and yeah, it was it was uh, for me, it was uh, feelable and visible also watching you and listening to yeah. you that this was happening and it was beautiful to witness it as well mm. yes yeah thank you i wanted like i noticed i wanted even more but then i a next like next i think the next layer to try for me would to do it in standing up and then yeah our press singers you know they are so <clears throat> <laughs> I would like to enjoy that. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, there's something that came up uh, for me at the beginning. You mentioned something about the your relationship with your guitar, mm -hmm. and uh, there there is some some there that I'm not sure how to articulate it right now. Something like in modern modern culture uh, has given us so many so many tools that, that we go very quickly from one tool to another, mm -hmm. and and then it, we lose touch with the the subtle with the subtle things. Like if you had like a, a guitar that was like only one string, like you will treat it very more differently than if than, than a guitar with six strings, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So like like like. Almost like the my in my relationship with my guitar, I had to like detrain myself from from chords and from the chords that I knew and strumming and strumming all the chords at the same time and going more into like one note at a time, and into like the the subtleties of that one note, um, and the subtleties of of the one one sound, and 
Yeah, I'm still not sure how to like like articulate that. But there is something there that perhaps it develops into like a, an experiment that I can do afterwards. Mm. Thank you. And yeah, I, I can feel that like that that expansing that expansing and and that growing of, of the energy. Thank you. I want to uh, say that I really uh, like this um, uh, letting your heart speak. The thing about letting your heart heart speak, uh, and maybe this is the experiment experiment that we do right now, letting mm -hmm. our hearts uh, speak. Maybe this is what we can call this experiment, and it might already be one that we can do and practice with other people um, like holding space for letting some someone's heart speak maybe this is what this has been because this I connected to me when you when you said uh, that Christina that it's like a heart speaking something yeah yeah yeah, there, there is the, this um, exercise from um, chakra, I don't know, chakra techniques or something that you, that you, like you tune your instrument like a flute and you go from one chakra to the next connected to the, to the vocal. And I, I feel that's, that's, I use it a lot because then I can tune better into my body. And this could also be a, an experiment for people to like to first tune into their body and sing the song of the part or the, the sound of the part. And then it's also much easier to connect to the heart song. Will you be able to send a, a link to, to the instructions or any, anywhere where we can find some information about that? I also just learned it by by practice, but I I would like to okay. to do it as a as a centering for next time. Because yes. we did yes. instructions. <laughs> okay, that's a great idea. Okay, Jorge, I will take uh, the time for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> oh.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How was that for you? It's scary. I felt scared. I felt like joy. Joy was the, the main the driving. Joy was, uh, I feeling joy from the singing. <laughs> And uh, when my my box came in there, or yeah, I felt like my box, or or even my gremlin came in there. That there was some judgment, and and I felt like fear, fear coming up. And um, it was pleasurable. It was the delightful. It was scary that I was be my fear was a, a um of judgment like a, a of judgment of like oh like when when is this gonna finish or something like that like when, how long do I have to stay here for like these these like thoughts that that came of like like people just like tolerating my voice or something like this um and uh I feeling like oh yeah like I closing my eyes to go to go inside of my emotions to go inside of like my emotional body of what I'm feeling and there was a part that that felt like maybe like three or five percent anger that came um the rhythm the rhythm it came naturally. Uh, from the like the the first the first sound that were coming were like like more like like harmony and like like wavelengths and then a rhythm came came from there that was a uh, like bringing in the a rhythm to the to the to the music mm. yeah but i think it was it was very scary to like uh, to share to share that to share that like vulnerable like space of me taking space uh and i feel like when when i feel like like the fear is like almost like a like a made up part of myself that or like it felt like like i could challenge that fear and like like really like like ex like like aiming for openness in my in my in my being like openness in my expression that's when the the louder sounds came when, when it came to like this like like big loud sound he came like i i am here like I, I only myself i can only i can give myself that 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 space of safety something like that mm. i feel like well, it's only three minutes like it's no big deal Yeah, I felt almost rude to stop you. Like I can't say three minutes right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. Maybe maybe it's all possible to to change change the experiment that you you frame it in a way that uh, go with the wave or something or go with one wave and then that it's like fade out naturally and then that's yeah that's a question I have like the the way we usually set up experiments and possibility management may might not be working for music. Well, I'm I'm curious what what is it for you. Uh, what what distinction do you want to bring into the experiment? No, it's just a question I have. It's not about how you set up or anything. It just like I just noticed for me that I couldn't like stop it after three minutes. So I would like change the like go with the next wave or just just go with one wave of a feeling and then find the point where where it ends naturally and yeah i see is like it more that. like about the the three minutes like the three minutes being like a, am i done am i not done yeah and also yeah, yeah and for the one who's uh expressing like it it, it can be like this and then, and maybe it's also okay. I don't know. It's just a thought I had. And on and when when I was witnessing you, I really felt like there was one point where 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 I felt like you made a new decision and suddenly you, you shifted. Yeah. Thank like you. Also yeah, I felt that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. And I I also witnessed in both of you and also in myself. In myself I could not see it. But in the two of you, I could see it that there was this moment, and I don't know how to say it, where a person begins to like sparkle or like there's this the or glow. There is this you look at someone and they start and sudden it's like they tune in, like they like they suddenly. And I, it makes so much sense to me that tuning into something, it makes so much sense to me that music is, again, such a thing. But it felt like someone lands in something and is at a source that gives them, I, yes, I'm, I'm trying to express it with my hands more mm -hmm. than with my words, but I, it was visible for me in the two of you and audible as well where there was like the moment of falling tuning in yes and maybe this is one of these waves where it's like someone goes into something and then mm -hmm. yeah it's like hearing is something like a like like it's like like you go into the platform, like going to this moment. Yeah, like something it's, tangible that you can stand on. It makes me very excited. Like where they like sounds like like they're writing on this on this surface. Like there is like a surface that's like being like created. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that it's much, much more easier for me to notice a feelings wave when I mix sounds or sing then in my own hps when it's so scary and there comes the wave of the feeling and and in the first hps you have this oh my god oh my god and then the space holder maybe says okay this was the first wave and now comes the next one it's like yeah it's like, like learning it's in another way but also in when it sinks, it's more naturally happening. I hear you. 
Thank you. Thank you for hearing me. I wonder if, uh, I think we have about seven minutes left uh, before 1.30, uh, before the end of the meeting. And I wonder if you, any of you would like to ask for a, an EHP or a space to be held for you uh, for any of the emotions that, that came here during, during this meeting. I think I re resonated very strongly or like I felt very sad in the moment that you mentioned um, that you were scared of people just tolerating your voice for some time. And I think that's, uh, I can feel myself having emotion, like big emotions about that. And I would like to ask for an emotional healing process about that because the time seems too short. So was it to ask for it for another time or for today? Yeah, yeah, for another time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would I would like can someone hold space for me for um an emotional healing process about having the sensation that people are just tolerating my voice yes i i can hold i can hold space for you okay thank you Yeah, I want to ask too, uh, like uh, in regards to that, that, that one felt like it, it touched in right into my, like the emotions of like being tolerated. Um, and I would like to ask for if anybody here would like to hold space uh, for for an emotional healing process for that, for that, those emotions that came up for me. So it would be like fear and I feel fear and sadness, fear and sadness. And I can also uh, ask for a space to be held in uh, in the EHP group for, for this, or even in the archaeological music research group. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm really full today, and I, I kind of like I don't, I have, don't have, feel the capacity at the moment, but I can. I will just check in with you later. Okay. Thank you, Christina. I also have uh, emotions, and uh, but I as I feel so packed with stuff at the moment and processes. So I will ask in. I guess I will ask in the group uh, today. Okay. Okay. Got it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for meeting and for the space. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before before we move on? I'm, I'm really grateful for this uh, experiment that came up. I'm really, really grateful for that experiment. I, I hadn't seen it was uh, all improvised. Like it came as a possibility for something we can do. And it, it seems like it, like it touched in into our being, where it touched in into my being. And I saw like it brought a aliveness to the, to the space. Thank you. For doing this. Yes, thank you for initiating the space. Mm -hmm. I also feel very grateful to have the space to speak all the 
stuff that um, that are were there for me, like about music and distinctions I found for me and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I like that. This uh, I like how we are finding our like how it, it is a, a, a process of finding uh, things and how it is about, it was about sharing and uh, bringing from our own experience. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. And I have so like, I, I have things now where I want to go on. Like I have, I have, more clarity about the space now or like what what it can be and I I can I have no uh, stops where I can go from new steps there, yeah. yeah yeah beautiful thank you so much uh, Robert, um, do you want me to put the links uh, I put in the chat in the group Yes, please, if you can. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, probably see you next week. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye, Good Christina. night. Bye, Thank Hope. You. Bye, Christine. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye.